evening from Central Virginia. Um, I hope your day is going well. I'm going to try to do this one-handed. As you can see, I'm, I'm working one-handed uh, today. Uh, I did what you're never supposed to do. I tried to break up a dog fight, and uh, I ended up getting a pretty bad uh, bite on my hand, which is definitely going to impact my gardening over the next week or two, probably two weeks. Um, but that is what happens. But I did want to show you what I did um, before the dog fight <laughs> incident so that you could take a look and uh, see what's happening. So I'll give you, I'll show it to you. All right, you may remember that I had made a sort of a little temporary instant garden bed when I flipped over the sod, when I uh, dug in these blackberries and blueberries and I put it in a strip going uh, down this way and I put compost in and planted some cucumbers and a pumpkin and lo and behold, that volunteer uh, tomato just came up. My ultimate goal is to make this, this garden bed into an asparagus bed, but obviously that's not going to happen until next spring. In the meantime, I figured I'd just try to get something planted here, and the cantaloupes are really growing well. They're really starting to take off now, as is the little pumpkin. So what I did on Friday before all of this mess happened is I went ahead and I put cardboard down on either side, and then I just broke my hay bales into about six or seven inch sections. I did not unpack the hay. I just put it straight down on here so that it would be a thick mat for a couple of reasons. My thinking is, is that will a allow this bed to be expanded next year into a much wider bed, which will yield me more asparagus. Good asparagus is always a good thing. A lot of asparagus is an even better thing. The other thing is I thought it would just, it's going to begin to compost. In fact, it's already starting to compost now and um, it will just create more good soil here and it'll allow more of a cushion for these uh, vines to roam over. So um, I think they're going to like that. As you can see, this bed just sits on the very outer edge of my garden and it is right next to a vast field. Now I know well that ultimately these melons and things might, might end up getting eaten by critters, um, but I'm going to do what I can to protect them. I will probably put up some form of trellising just to help some of these um, cantaloupe come off of the ground. Otherwise, I'll just let them go where they want to go and do their thing. I can see that these cantaloupe are starting to get their first blossoms, which is great. Um, these are mostly male blossoms at this point. Usually, the first blossoms are male flowers. We have gotten a ton of rain in the last couple of days in the form of really uh, big uh, storms that have just come through and they kind of circle around and have dumped an awful lot of rain. Last night we got well over two inches and the night, the day before, the night before we got probably two inches as well. So that as a result, the garden has just taken off. It's just as, well, the garden looks great. I'm just hoping I'm able to get in here and deal with I'll deal with it um, as I recoup. I'm holding this hand up because the elevation helps it. Hey, thanks for watching. One tip, never try to break up a dog fight. Bad idea. And I hope your garden is growing really, really well. Take care. Bye.